This video will cover the topic, matching graphs and equations for secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent functions. What do these kinds of graphs look like? Let's first look at the general graphs for sine, cosine, and tangent. We know that the cofunctions are equal to 1 divided by the original functions. Since we now have expressions with x in the denominator, there will be certain locations where the graphs are undefined. These will be the asymptotes. We notice the distinct shape of the tangent graph looks very similar to that of the cotangent graph, and the secant and cosecant graphs look like they consist of parabolas that open up in alternating directions. Okay, so with these basic graphs in mind, we can match given graphs to their equations, right? That's right. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we're given three graphs, and we're asked to choose which equation out of the following matches each one. Let's begin with the graph on the left. Using our knowledge of general trig functions, we know that this is the graph of either a secant or cosecant function. We see that this graph contains the point pi fourths comma two. We can check which equation has this point as a solution. This point is a solution only for y equals 2 cosecant 2x, so this is the equation that matches this graph. Moving on to the graph in the middle. Once again, using our knowledge of general trig functions, we know that this is the graph of either a secant or cosecant function. Since we already determined that y equals 2 cosecant 2x matches the graph on the left, we know this will not be the function that matches the graph in the middle. This graph contains the point pi fourths comma negative one. So we will follow the same steps as before to check which equation has this point as a solution. This point is only a solution for y equals secant of two x plus pi halves, so this is the equation that matches this graph. Looking at our final graph, which equations do you think would be possibilities for this graph? Well, using what I know about general trig functions, this is the graph of a tangent or cotangent function. So we have to choose between these three possibilities. That's right. And we see that this graph contains the point zero comma one. So we will check which equation has this point as a solution by substituting zero for x and one for y into each equation. We see that this point is a solution only for y equals tangent of x plus pi fourths, so this is the equation that matches our final graph. Okay, so when matching graphs and equations for secant, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent functions, we can narrow our options by looking at the shape of the graph. Once we have narrowed our options, we can select a point on the graph and test each function to see if that point is a solution for the equation. That's exactly right. Great work!